Welcome to our J Crazy News headlines. Now my viewers and my subscribers, things are down a very dark road for Jamaica. The generation that is currently in Jamaica. Our youths have lost their way. Our youths are filled with such venom and hatred towards each other. Every single day, I get up and I see young men dying over foolishness, over things that can be avoided, over things that can be talked about, over things that can be solved easily. But because we are so angry as a nation, and we are so ignorant, it brings a sense of always in, in the need for fighting and killing each other. Now this morning, the one that you see who is called Akim or Apache of Standpipe in lost his life in the drive through of Burger King in Barbican. Ligani to be exact, this morning around 7 a.m. Now, based on information, two group of men got into an argument where fighting started in the drive through of Burger King in Barbican, St. Andrew. And during that incident or fight, a knife was drawn. And Sad to say, Akim was fatally stabbed. He died on his way to the hospital. Now we don't know what caused the brawl. We don't know what happened. But certainly, this man lost his life in a fight with a group of men. My viewers and my subscribers, these are things that cause continuous violence. These are things that cause non-stop killing. And I'm certain that the friends of Akim are going to retaliate and take a life for the killing of this young man. Aren't we tell as a nation to not live in harmony and peace? Are we tired of fighting and shedding blood in this country? I am tired of it and I hope you are too but sad to say that this young man lost his life in something that can be or should I say could have been avoided but you know them saying this country called Jamaica everybody want to prove to be a gangster everybody want to prove to be a shatter everybody want to prove to be a bad man and these provings are destroying our generation slowly we cannot continue like this non-stop killing and bloodshed enough is enough now we head towards Mantico Bay St. James where this afternoon the owner of a cook shop who is Les Moore Williams, who is 80 years of age, was gone down. Now, Mr. Williams, who is of St. Clavers Road in Manticore Bay, St. James, and who is also the owner of St. Clavers Park, was gone down this afternoon by gunmen. Now, based on information, his killing has to do with extortion. That's the word in the streets that his killing was all about extortion. Now the news however did not go into details as to how many gunmen were at the scene and or how many took his life. But this afternoon around 2 p.m. the afternoon he was killed at his cook shop by gunmen. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, currently there's a SOE in Montego Bay, St. James. But nevertheless, an SOE 
cannot and will never stop bloodshed in this country. Because gunmen are finding ways and means to go around the security forces and to actually go after their target, whether it's a citizen in a community or a business owner. SOE will not stop them. Sad case people, once again, that a business owner is being gunned down in Montego Bay, St. James. Something more effectively need to be done in this country when it comes down to crime. There has to be more solutions on the table by the government in power. Because currently, one solution which the SOE is not working. We need several more solutions to this virus and this infection called crime. Now we head towards Christian Lentil, Manchester. Where the skin right now is 51 year old Patrick Lewis, a farmer who was found last night chopped to death. Now, based on information in Silent Hill, Christiana, Manchester, residents stumbled upon Mr. Lewis's body where chop wounds were seen all over his body. The police were called and his murder is no problem. Nobody knows what took place. This man is said to be a very hard-working farmer, but his death or his murder comes as a surprise in the community. I said to myself, you know, I said to myself, more than likely his murder was actually done by somebody who lives in the community, most definitely. And Silent is a place where it's a very nice community in Manchester. Not more than so, negatively go on them place there. So the residents are really shocked and saddened of the cold blooded murder of Mr. Lewis, who was a hard working farmer in the era of Silent Hill in Christiana, Manchester. May I tell the people, things are happening in this country, it is unbelievable. And certainly, there has to be an end, or else Jamaica is sinking further. When this country sinks further, no one can help it come out of the darkness or the pit of hell. This is J. Chris News once again. Until then, bless up. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for J. Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J. Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J. Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. J. Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J. Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy